An historic moment in Bahamian politics this Sunday. Good evening, everyone. I'm LaDawn Davis. Topping the news tonight, the country's new opposition leader taking up the mantle to help bring about change in this country. Long Island MP Loretta Butler-Turner is now the official leader of the opposition. Surrounded by family, friends, and a host of supporters, Butler-Turner received her instrument of appointment from Governor General Her Excellency J. Margaret Penling during a ceremony at Government House this afternoon. I note that my appointment as the first woman to serve as leader of the opposition is an historic importance. It could signal a new direction in frontline politics in the Bahamas. On Sunday, the name Loretta Butler Turner was etched in the annals of Bahamian history as she became the first female opposition leader in parliament. Butler Turner says this month marks 15 years since she heeded the call to enter frontline politics, and now the work begins to rescue this country. She later reaffirmed her commitment to serve with integrity. The days ahead, we will speak with clarity and with unity of purpose on the momentous decision we have taken, a collective decision that has led to this defining moment for the Bahamas that we all love and cherish. I appreciate that there is uncertainty in this moment, but I assure the Bahamian people that this is but for a moment. Clarity a new direction and a hope-filled change is on our horizon. The opposition leader says effective Monday, the member of parliament for North Eleuthera, Theo Neely, will be appointed as a new leader of opposition business in the lower chamber. But Turner also revealed that the appointments of four FNM senators will be made public within the next 24 hours. We are going to make sure that what we have to do, we do it very effectively. New appointments is only one of the tasks that we have at hand. We obviously need to look at the leader of the opposition business in the House. We need to deal with that. We also need to ensure that we have a person on the Boundaries Commission. Um, we have an opportunity to do that. So from a statutory and um, a constitutional position, there is much work to be done and we will not wait to draw it out. You will see immediate things happening within 24 hours. The opposition leader was also called on to respond to talks of a possible merger with the Democratic National Alliance. You know, I usually speak from a position of fact. I don't deal in hypotheses. And so I imagine that people are very interested in what we have to do. Um, rumors are simply that, rumors.